two, one. We're live. Yay. All right. So everyone, we're here to take you on a very special tour today. This story will take place before man, before moon, before mystery. In a world made of magic and uncomfortable faces. <laughs> the best. <laughs> Weird ass titans, faces that break bones, some shit that involves the chrono stone. The stone, I swear to god, was a plot device for this movie. Alright. I don't know where to start on this. Uh, would you like to at least explain what this movie is and how it came to be first and foremost? This was a movie I subjected everybody to watch. This is Hercules and Xena, the battle from Mount Olympus, an animated movie based off of the Hercules live action TV show and the Xena show, which were running in the 90s. And they were both very popular. So they got an animated movie. And it was in the middle of their run, too. What in 38? It was directly in the slap, slapped in the middle of it. Yeah, and this is a canonical placement of the movie, too. Like, if you look it up, it does have a place in the timeline of the series. This is canon, this is fellas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is canon. And it's uncomfortable canon. Look at that face he's making. That is a canon face Hercules is making. This is he not will... probably canon. This movie is completely canon. This is completely canon. This is probably the most canon we've ever had. Something. Look at the seriousness on Zeus and Alchemy's chin. <laughs> fucking beautiful. So, what... What what's the whole background behind this movie, Cable? Outside of it being a... this is an animated movie based off of a live action property because it was popular. And if you want the plot of this movie, it, we're not really going to go into detail on the plot of this movie because <laughs> we're just here to show you the weird faces. There, there's a plot. I, I... There is. Uh, it's a dumb one because Zeus is a cheating out a cheating again. Oh. Listen, we're just here to show off. Some of probably the rarest screenshots of an animated movie you'll ever find because you can't find these anywhere. No, you can't. Um, we took these screenshots ourselves. Cable, I, I swear, tied with like fighting food ons for the hardest screenshots to find. Cable, so I'm gonna be real with you. This is the first time I've seen this movie. I didn't even realize it exists. I had minimal knowledge of the Xena TV show that was on, um, and. I watched this movie for the first time. I unironically love it. Yes. This is crazy for me because I did watch Herc and Xena and I, I didn't know this happened. Uh, this was like better, in my opinion, than Disney's Hercules. I like, the, I, re, I like this one a lot more than Disney's Hercules as well. Disney's Hercules has a better production value. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. oh Disney's yeah. Hercules has a better soundtrack. A every, but, every, know, every, every background in this movie is a watercolor schmear. We'll, we'll get to that in a second, Dan, because one, Across the Sea of Time is fucking great. That Across the Sea of Time is the only the good song. way to start the movie. And it's actually yeah. pretty damn solid. That also has some very cute fish girls. But before the, the, the Disney fans kill me, uh, I need to also preface this movie is far more goofier and sillier, and that's why I love it more. Which is something, too, because Disney's Hercules is a goofy movie. Oh, it is so goofy. Being... Once you start seeing the screenshots, you'll understand what we mean by it's a yeah. way sillier movie. Dan, Dork are over. We're looking at Nick Cage face on Herc. Dan, so, Dan, we paused through this entire movie. It's going to be like an hour and 20 minutes long, but it feels like it's fucking eight years long. <laughs> that, that's not like a bad thing for this movie. At least in my opinion. This is the movie that didn't know when to stop. Yeah. So do we? how do we want to structure this? Do we want to give context to all the screenshots as we go through? No, or? no context. We're just going to scroll through and talk about it. So these three, first three are from the end of the movie. It's Hercules and Xena, like, as Xena singing a totally heterosexual song about her friend who's been changed into an no, eagle. The, the other one. Then, oh. then, yeah. then they ride the yeah. eagle. We ride the they eagle. ride the eagle and they all hold on through the sheer power of testicles and or vagina just to make sure that they don't fall off. I, you know, <laughs> this scene is supposed to be like that scene with them riding the eagle is supposed to be taken super seriously. Um, why? <laughs> oh, the eagle also, the, the scale of the eagle changes constantly throughout the movie. Dan, didn't you say the director was like a guy who worked for Hanna-Barbera? 
that was did. Me. Um, yeah, actually, a woman actually. Oh, but... a, a lady worked for Hanna Barbera. Oh, Lynn, Lynn Naylor worked at Filmation, Hanna Barbera, Marvel, Spumco, and Warner Brothers. Um, so I want to say I unironically love the art style of this film, and it also explains why the the eagle keeps changing proportions drastically. Because if it's Hanna Barbera, you know, n ain't nothing gonna be canon in the next. <laughs> they, they don't got fucking model sheets at Hanna Barbera. <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> but you can go to the first. You can go to the one just below this, Batty, so we can start. Because oh. Chibi felt the need to have us pause again. <laughs> There's a reason why this baby I had to screenshot. Do you want me to explain why you wanted this baby screenshotted? Go for it. Well. Kibi had noticed something about this baby, and um, I'll tell you. The way to describe it is this baby is a certified freak. Okay, seven <laughs> days a week. It's an ugly ass baby. Makes that Hercules movie weak. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're effing with some weird ass baby. <laughs> you prepped this. I really didn't. I really oh didn't. My God. So more specifically, this baby. You see how it has hair technically. Um. In the next scene where you see this baby, it actually does have a full head of hair that's colored and everything. But for some reason, in this scene in particular, it's invisible. Yeah, we have baby Shapiro right here. <laughs> baby Shapiro. <laughs> oh, you see that next screenshot there is the baby with the full head of hair? No, that next screenshot is... <laughs> it's fucking Hercules fighting an underwater serpent. If you scroll down to it, Batty. Okay. We caught that shit, that shit took that was a very hard one to catch. It was like he just he's a banger that is across the sea of time, which I love the opening of that film. And oh, yes, yeah, fish great. babes. We should have got a picture of the fish babes, but Yeah, it gets into this it gets into this incredible scene of a Herc versus the serpent. And then the serpent goes to hit him with his tail and he just goes, Oh <laughs> It looks like his teeth are gonna fly out like dentures. <laughs> Okay, go down one more. <laughs> and then we no, got yeah. over here. I, I made a part. <laughs> this is Hercules doing his Tommy Oliver impression. <laughs> I, 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 this was like the scene that made me realize, oh god, full himbo, yes, let's go. Yeah, you know, him and the thing, the thing comes out of the ground and lands on him. So, of course... He exits through the serpent's nose and pulls up, and I thought this smelled bad on the outside. Actually, Dan, it was worse. It was worse. He said it must have been something he ate. Ah, uh, it's so much worse. This movie's quippy, by the way. Yes. Oh, there's the fish babes. Yeah, uh, Batty, uh, we got a picture of the fish babes, thankfully. Oh, uh, do we? We got to show, Where... show the fish babes. Where is it? It's in the file, um, the text. Uh, okay. I'm gonna turn to file text. It might. Is there anything weird above it? You didn't post I like mean, SpongeBob porn in the chat previously, did you, Cable? Transformers. Just There's Transformers, Transformers babies. Okay. Oh, those, yeah, they're cute. Look at those adorable little fish babes. They're 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 really cute. Love those fish babes. Um. <laughs> But yeah, going it's back. back to the there's really, really nothing bad to say about the fish babes. They were great. Yep. They were cool. Yep. But then, no, we, have very full cool. of, we have full like, Cro-Magnum Hercules over here. Where it's like he just he just stepped out of the fucking cave and discovered fire for the first time. Did <laughs> <laughs> it should, it should just be a small string of drool falling down his chin? <laughs> and then immediately, we... We get down to Ares, who's talking to Xena in a bar, because the cut, the scene transitions over after Hercules saves the people from the serpent. They're like, oh, we'll give you all the fish. Then they beat up some highwaymen. And then they're like, oh, what's next, satyrs? And then Xena fucks up some satyrs in a bar. And then Ares shows up being creepy as shit. <laughs> as he always does in Xena. It, it's weird. Because if you look at the art direction for Ares, he looks offensive, but I can't tell why. <laughs> you know who he's yeah, offensive like, He's generally just a creep, and that's it. You, you know who he's offensive towards? Raj Al Ghul. Really? Yeah. Yeah, you know, the crazy thing is, though, as uh, all the different uh, the models they have for everybody in this movie, 
still look pretty accurate to the actual people. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, that also means people get really wrinkly at certain times. <laughs> I kind of like that. I like how the, this, like, the expressions in this movie are so expressive and cartoony and weird. And they're, like, not afraid to, like, make a character, like, look ugly. I know that sounds weird, but, like, I kind of respect that. The blonde chick up there above that's Gabrielle, that's Zena's, um... Uh, oh, that's Zena's, that's Zena's friend. Her friend, quote-unquote. Friend. Friends. She, she looks like she works at an Italian hair salon. Uh, but, yeah, they're, they're, they're totally heterosexual life partners. I mean, uh, friends. Yeah, yeah. Harry shows up to Warren's. He's like, "Don't let Hercules go to Thebes." Well, you told you said that, so I'm totally gonna let him go to Thebes. Wow, why do you have to be so difficult like that? What if I said, "Let Hercules go to Thebes"? I'm gonna stop him from going to Thebes. <laughs> and why doesn't you? Why doesn't he want Hercules to go to Thebes? Because Zeus is about to kidnap his mommy. And that's when Hercules decided he has to be the horse she thought he could be. <laughs> Please tell me you have that. <laughs> yes! <laughs> that's my favorite screenshot. Is that, is that last one where he's looking behind himself? <laughs> yeah, like, can, we, can we draw attention to the fact that they took... I want, I want to point this out, Daddy. Yeah. It's a very small detail you won't notice, but go down to both of the Hercules pictures. Yeah. So if you look at it in the second picture... The ass is slightly a little bit more angled, which means they didn't just turn the head, they redrew that from scratch. Oh, yeah. They had to show the ass move. Somebody took a lot of care and time to do that. Oh, it's also important to mention, so... Xena has her... Her, her, her gal pal, we're gonna say. Um, Hercules also has, has a friend. You yeah. That's Eolus. He's... You know, I don't know what the hell to say about Eolus because it's weird. He's there to hold the bags. Like, personality-wise, he should be the coward, but he's always willing to jump into a fight. Oh, yeah, he's a, he's a fucking bro. Like, he he contradicts what, what I expect him to be, and I don't like it. The main reason is because if you have a sidekick that's going to be the coward all the time, that joke gets old real fucking fast. Well, it's like he's also buff like Hercules. He's also a warrior, but he's just like a good friend. Yeah, he's 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 stronger than the average and guy, but occasional fuck buddy. What what I can say about Aeolus is he never like starts to overstay his welcome. He's kind of always okay to just have in a scene. He never like he never I, a scene has never been ruined because Aeolus was in it. <laughs> I think he's funny. I like him. I, I like him. Yeah, too. he's pretty good. I like all the characters in this film. Yeah, so they, they know they know when to cut from like from scenes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Except you know when you get to the antagonists. <laughs> oh, and, uh, they, you know, kind of overstay their welcome a bit. We will get to them. We will get to them. Hercules was a horse. He was but a horse. yeah, and yeah, he's gonna he's gonna be uh, like reeling for some oats because I because. The most horrible thing that could have happened to Hercules happens directly at the next moment. And uh, it's mostly that picture that's between Cable and Patty with the most one of the most Anna Barbera looking fucking pictures. <laughs> Isn't that like fucking Thunder and shit? And what? the Herculoid? I'll, I'll, I'll save the blow picture for when we get to it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so uh, Zeus just randomly steals Hercules' mom. And Hercules being being the mama mama's boy that he is we'll just say uh Listen, it's like I'm just saying you could have called this movie Oedipus and Xena battle from Mount Olympus <laughs> <laughs> the scene is so sudden it just happens it just kind of happens and she just doesn't tell Hercules at all she just fucking leaves can I point something out I love about this too it's not even like they just gracefully leave it's like Zeus is hauling Max as soon as he's got alchemy on the Al alchem I forget what the fuck her name is it's like alchem or something yeah. like that Second, he's got her on the chair. He's like, "Get the fuck out! Get the fuck out! Get the fuck no, out!" No, let's roll, bitch. <laughs> Motherfucker's like, and then Hercules dramatically rips off his leather bindings that him and Eolus were doing BDSM play with. <laughs> it's like, "Mommy, mommy!" Because he fucking Tommy Pickles runs up to the chariot. Um, what was? Can I scroll down? Yes, please. 
What was this oh. a reaction to? <laughs> you know what that's a reaction to, buddy? What? Imagine a fucking six foot nine mama's boy <laughs> crying and running at you at full speed. <laughs> if you don't make that face, something's wrong with you. He literally jumped on top on onto the chariot and both of them are like, oh dang. <laughs> he started punching a horse in the at that point where it was like <laughs> Oh, where Zeus realized shit's about to go down. But but you know Zeus Zeus is not a man of subtlety. So in order in order to get Hercules to get off, he literally throws a lightning bolt at him. If my research is correctly, he does. <laughs> we dead. We dead. <laughs> Damn, he's gonna he's gonna bite you. Oh. <laughs> no! I can fit in his mouth! You can't. <laughs> so Zeus fucking electrifies him, and then he rises out of the dirt after he falls on the ground and goes, <laughs> You cut out. <laughs> you cut out, Cable. He's screaming, <laughs> Mommy! Mommy, Mommy, Mommy! <laughs> he screams to the heavens, Mama! Disappointed! <laughs> That's the best thing to put there. <laughs> Disappointed! I wish he would have just did that. I wish he would have just screamed his emotions for the entire movie, like <laughs> angry, angry. I mean, he kind of does that with his face. You don't, you don't really need him to to emote that way. God, Kevin Sorbo, you are a fucking delight. Uh oh! By the way, just to make things easier, just tell me when you guys want me to scroll down, so I I don't preemptively show some of these. Very good screenshots. Oh, we're talking about like Herc emoting with his face, just, just his facial features. Oh, it that is one right there is fantastic. Man, it don't matter. All right, let's get a good look at this. Let's get a good look at this next what's the, one. What's the big idiot down there? After this? oh, he makes that face after fucking Eolus is like, oh, maybe she wanted to go to Olympus, and he's like, what? Why would mommy want to go to Olympus? All her favorite things are going to Oh my god. <laughs> it was the most genuine fucking expression of the movie. He's like, What? How could you insinuate such a thing? <laughs> How fucking dare you, sir? All her favorite things are down here. Like me. And me. <laughs> I killed her field. Why would she leave? <laughs> oh god. Well, at that moment, like just just a bit after that, we get we get catchy on the flip side as Aphrodite starts fucking. This week, Aphrodite Aphrodite's kind of fun. I she won't lie. is a fucking like skater slash surfer girl, and it is fucking amazing. I just want to say, and she surfs in her clam shell. It's great. I'm so glad because <clears throat> like the the easy thing you do with Aphrodite is like. Um, oh, you know, tea. love, uh, let's make her, like, lust, Before. lustful, maybe, sultry, or she seduces men or whatever. Uh, but no, they're just like, you know, what's the dumbest thing we can do? And they just went with that, <laughs> and I love them more. <laughs> yeah, they made her a surfer bro, and there's a part later on with her that is genuinely funny. <laughs> um, we'll get to that when we get to that. There's a few parts with her that are pretty good, but it's it um... used to be in that hug like, bitch, what are you doing here? Right before the fight, the Stop. big fight. Stop, oh, baby, she's... bro. Yeah, she writes in clan shell. She's basically I'm... Sandy the Squirrel. I'm here channeling yeah. the good vibes, and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna hide in the shell so they can't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Aphrodite uses withdrawal. And then, of course, this is Eolus's face when he sees Aphrodite. So, <laughs> they make him obsessed with Aphrodite. But you, you know what the thing about it is? It's, it's not creepy. He's not creepy about it. Like this is the obvious attraction, but he never fucking like. He, he if you actually look at it, he really he never once puts his hands on Aphrodite. No. Like, oh yeah, wind. no. Lean against the wall thing, tries to do a pickup line, and fails instantly. Yeah, yeah, he's and then he's man. not like aggressively like trying to get with Aphrodite after that. He yeah. just, yeah, he's a dork, and he's like, "Yo, Aphrodite's hot." Yeah, <laughs> there was a, a fucking dork. hilarious line in the movie where, uh, like Hercules was like, 
yeah, I, I don't care. Just uh, flirt with her if you like her, her so much. And then he his response was like, that's not cool. That's like your sister. You oh, should no, be more line, upset about me flirting no, with her. That's actually not the line, Batty. It's even better. What is it? <laughs> so Hercules is like, all right, have fun, Yolas. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Oh, come on, man. That's not cool. She's your sister. <laughs> 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 oh. Oh, God man. damn it! God damn it! Like that's golden. That, li that line's even better than what you had heard. Back. I I completely misunderstood that line. Knowing now the context of the film, Hercules' relationship with his mother that actually makes a lot more and sense. Also, knowing the context of Greek mythology, Aeolus is very moral because yeah. being your sibling wouldn't stop you in Greek mythology. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what you look for. Also, oh, I had I, I demanded this screenshot. This is a dumb screenshot. They, you they, demanded they, the statue. Yes. They, they cut up to the top of Mount Olympus where Hera's arguing with Zeus. The Titans have broken free by this point, I believe. Or no, they were free. just about to break free. There's, there's natural disasters going on currently, like earthquakes. Hera's walking up to Zeus. He's like, mm, where have you put Tiny Wife? Don't talk about Tiny Wife. I am king. I have a dumb voice, and I have tiny wife now. <laughs> Not been either for long, because tiny wife was now we, 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 yes. So Hera, Hera's mad because uh, because Zeus decided to bring a mortal to Mount Olympus, uh, and then hide her from it's Hera. Specifically, a mortal that he fucked. Andor from Superman. Yeah. Um, and so then Hera decides, you know what? I'll get revenge on Zeus by. Killing all the gods, technically? It's a great revenge plot. I think she um, I think she just wanted to take over Mount Olympus. And then she destroys this she like destroys this statue, which is this bust of Zeus that is hyper realistic, and I don't understand why they had to put so many wrinkles on it. <laughs> He, he made a comment of it just looks like Thanos in a wig. It does look like Thanos. <laughs> it looks like Thanos wearing a wig. That's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> it does. Hera's plan is also incredibly fucking flawed anyway because of the Titans. Weirdly enough, also, Disney's Hercules came out a year before this. Yeah. Yeah. Where, where Hades releases the Titans to take out Zeus. And still makes no sense. <laughs> yeah. And somehow these Titans have more personality than Disney's Titans. I think other ones were in it for like two minutes. Yeah. We got I, more well, scenes of freaking Cyclops. Um, what do we, uh, got, what oh, do we, we got, got? We got a Zeus face. We got a Zeus face. I, 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 I'm like edging because I don't want to scroll down and reveal these preemptively, but I want to see what's below. Face of, how dare you talk about Tiny Wife? How dare you? <laughs> My Tiny Wife? Yeah. Actually, you know what? His voice is so terrible, but do you know who he kind of looks like and it would have fit better? What? Mm. He looks like Sean Connery. He I does. Oh my yeah. God, that would have been so much better. Look, imagine the movie where it's like, how dare you talk about Tiny Wife? I am Zeus, king of the <laughs> king of the God. Right. Don't you talk about Tiny Wife like that, Hera. I would be very cross with you. I want Sean Connery as Zeus now. Would have been a lot better. It would have been. Is Sean Connery dead yet? No. Like, Why'd you say yet? Like, you want that to be? I don't want it to be true, but, like, dude's getting up there. Uh, I'll, I'll do some Sean Connery Googling. Uh... Oh, no, he is dead. He died last year. Aww. He died last year. Rip, rip Sean Connery. Oh, it's sad. I didn't want to know that. There you go, Caleb. It's in, it's in, in Final Attacks. We have Zeus and Hera. But that's what they look like in the actual live action. That's weird. Oh my god, I saw Hera and I immediately thought that was Carrie Fisher. There you go. I don't like that. I'm a fucking nerd. So you can see why <laughs> the animated one looks like he does. <laughs> I like animated even better. <coughs> where, where... This is a so... great reaction image. I so, forget who wanted this one. That would be... I wanted that mostly because like he's listening to Hera just kind of bitch and moan and directly like right off to the left the the uh, right side of the screen is the Chronos stone 
and Hera's just kind of bitching while, like, kind of vaguely threatening him. And he's just kind of chilling there with his tiny legs and everything. <laughs> Why just... can't my bitch of a wife understand that I would cheat with tiny wife? <laughs> you forget your place, Hera. I am Zeus, king of the gods. But for how long? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Scroll is down, Betty. <laughs> oh God! And this is the scene of Tiny oh, Wife. Tiny oh, Wife, he shoots her down. Tiny and Wife. She, she just comes out and she gently hugs his finger, and he's like, mm, "Tiny Wife." That's right. Get all the dirt from underneath my cuticles. What do you say? <laughs> I, uh, I, I shrink you down a little more, and we we play the magic school bus game. No. <laughs> no. No. Cable, the tiny white bit was so fucking wholesome and you had to ruin it. <laughs> Listen, alright. Look at Alkmany, which I actually have very good that's how you pronounce her name, it's Alkmany. Okay. <laughs> Weirdly enough, I actually really like her design. Oh yeah, yeah I do too. Really... Yeah. Something that, like It reminds me of a... um old like uh like Celtic like carvings and stuff. She has a very like aesthetically like put together design that just works really well. And it's not like oh it's cuz she's like fabulously it's she's a very a visually appealing cat. I think it's the the color of like the dress and like tra like with the color of the hair it works good. Generally Com generally I, a good compliment I can bring is even though I'm I am colorblind, I do genuinely appreciate that every single character has their own unique color palette. So that way you know exactly who someone is just by looking at them. Yeah. Um, Zena's color palette is like fucking breathtaking. Oh, the yeah. colors in this movie are actually pretty solid. I won't lie. They are. Also, one thing I thought was going to be a more annoying bit when I started this film, but I realized I didn't really care as much. Um, so all of the backgrounds in this movie uh, look to be, uh, I I believe they're watercolor. Um, and a lot of them are like simple, like one tone, like colors. Um, but you still get like a, a good sense of the space, like for the most part. Uh, mm -hmm. And I think it makes actually the movie look a lot prettier. Very Hanna Barbera, though, isn't it, Batty? Yeah, it's very, very Hanna Barbera. Hanna -Barbera. Well, like when we when I first watched this, I immediately thought that this was like is this like Dexter's Laboratory kind of like art style? Because this is exactly what it is. style like yeah. Anime. So, so here's a weird thing about the animation in this movie also. Because there is some very well-animated scenes that go fucking ham. And there's other times where they'll just reuse the same two frames of animation like 12 times. We'll get to that bit because I know I have one uh, big reason. <laughs> now, let me address something right here too. I don't like the hyper detail they put into Zeus's fingers. <laughs> His fingers are gross. They had to establish that he's big. Speaking Oops. of hyper detail, how about that next face? <laughs> <This Urgh>! Amazing <laughs> face. They were trying to make their way up to Mount Olympus, and then Hercules found a jar of mayonnaise he really needed to get open so that he could make <laughs> it for you. Fire back! Fire back! I don't actually remember why he did this. <laughs> he, was holding, he was holding the earth apart because a boy was being swallowed up by oh, an right. earthquake. Yeah, there's an earth yeah. boy being swallowed by an earthquake. This is him pushing the earth back. <laughs> you sure? God. See, I want to actually take the screen and like draw over, just like actually draw him opening a jar of mayonnaise with his face. <laughs> just... I was rooting for that kid to die. I can't look at it. But then he gave Herc a very big jar of pickles. Mmm, uh, snackies. Oh, it's one of the it's one of the the Phoebes that Xena beat up. Yeah, Xena just started. Xena just fucked up a bunch of random goons because she was bored. Well, it's because these goons were like robbing like stalls during the. the he just walked away. The, this guy was like nearly crushed by a boulder after like trying to fight Xena, and then uh, he like barely gets not crushed, and he's like, "Okay, I'm I'm walking the fuck away. No need to no need to go any further." You take my money that I stole. You take. I do not want no more. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
Oh, right, you leave me alone, nice lady. I take the money. You want you want my teeth? They're not gold. I just don't brush. It's called gingivitis. Take them. It, it's, it's called we're a Hanna Barbera cartoon. We couldn't afford another color with the eyes. Yeah, That's no, because with the teeth and the eye color, this dude has jaundice. You know what? Even with the people at the uh, at the fishing village in the beginning, they all had like one tone colors. Also, I don't That's... like thinking about them. That, I think, probably what it was, was. I don't know this for a fact, but it could have been uh, just like they could, they had like uh, layers for each of the different colors. So for minor characters, they probably needed to um... actually no. Wait, I don't know. I don't know. That I thought it was like, a yeah, like only like for one or two colors to pass on. Yeah, that that would explain why minor characters probably had less colors. But you know, that and probably they just didn't need to stand out as much. Uh, so we got below this map. We have another amazing face. <laughs> Two amazing faces. <laughs> Zeus. This is Zeus being all mad. He's like asking Hera where the stone is, and Hera decides to give him a speed racer reaction face. Like, ah! Oh. <laughs> this whole thing could be cut straight from Speed Racer, where it's like, ah, oh, Hera, I know you've taken the stone. Where did you place it? <laughs> I never took the stone, Zeus. I don't know what you're talking about. Ha 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 She actually I does admit it. that she stole it. <laughs> she straight up is just like, I took it. <laughs> I remember why I remember why, why I wanted the Hera face because if you scroll down and look at her head fully, she is very phallic in the She looks like a penis. Oh, Hera, what have you done with your nose? <laughs> I absorbed it. <laughs> Classic God. surgeon of the gods. God, Hera's horrible. It's weird to think that she's the mother of the fucking turbo babe that's coming down the road. Artemis. Artemis. Artemis and Ares. This. Fucking okay, so I I I know you guys were shit talking Ares. I love all of the the chill like the uh, Ares, uh, Artemis, Ares and good, Aphrodite. Good character in his own right. No, Especially no, no. if you ever watch Xena, Ares is a very much recurring character. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, um, did we did we ever address that Ares is voiced by Kevin Smith? He is, and oh. that's fun. <laughs> I didn't no, even actually, recognize it as Kevin Smith because I'm just so used to seeing him as Silent Bob. So I just looked it up. Different Kevin Smith. Oh, this is a New Zealand actor, Kevin Smith. It's not uh, Kevin Smith. Yeah. The entire show was like shot in New Zealand. Yeah. Isn't isn't Kevin Smith Canadian? Like the the other one? Or am I confusing him with something somebody else? Well, that's you, confusing. You have Kevin Smith and Kevin Smith. Because I think there's another Kevin Smith that's American. But that That's could like also be the Kevin Smith. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm confusing myself. Anyways, C Cable has a crush on Artemis. She, Who wouldn't? She hey. is so smug and devious in this movie. It's some, here's some Aries for Batty. Some Aries. Oh, dang. What? Where? Oh, shit. They made him a fuckboy. He's going to lean into you. Uh, That's he's going to lean in Smith. close. Rub your cheek and go jalapeno. So the act, uh, so I, I believe uh, all the uh, the actors actually played their cartoon selves. Well, that's cool. That's, that's that's something like I noticed about the movie. Like the characters didn't sound like like movie actors playing a role, and they didn't sound like voice actors playing a role. They definitely sounded like television actors playing a role. But I don't think that's bad necessarily. No. Not it, it gave the movie its own feel, but you could clearly tell these these people probably don't like work in the animation industry at all. For Cable, we got some Artemis here because I agree, Bay Burrito. Oh my Look god, at that face. she is Look so at that good. Face. Smug ass expression. But she is Such a smug a asshole. So I put the actual Artemis over also in politics. Look at that. <laughs> Looks very different, though. I will say. Yep. They completely reinvented her her character design for the cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> this is about his just blank expression that I find very fun. This is the Daria Ares. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man! Uh, uh, this is when this is when Ares decided to start his new band, Mystic Spiral. 
<laughs> no, this is when Ares decided to start teaching things where it's like a fucking Artemis is like, you'll never get a mortal join like this. Oh, well then tell me, Artemis, in your <laughs> infinite wisdom, how do I get to see you? For the gods. <laughs> I actually would love that. Just if they replace the Artemis. Simply turn Gabrielle into an eagle. Oh, turn her into an eagle, of course, if I would have known that. Tell me, once I am dead and no longer a god, promise you'll leave flowers on my grave as you're still worshipped. <laughs> so, Ar Artemis has this plan, which is honestly kind of actually accurate to, like, Greek mythology, to where she plans on getting Xena to help by changing her girlfriend, I mean friend, I mean life partner, I mean um, associate, <laughs> into an eagle. Mm -hmm. And this is, uh, this is Zeno's reaction. <laughs> no, there's two they reactions. <laughs> they, they couldn't get Zena to do the face, so they actually had Michael Jackson fill in for a quick second. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This <laughs> is the, I think this is the first image of Zena that we, we've shown so far. This is what's... Yeah. Zena doesn't have as many good faces, but she has a lot of good sounds. Because Zena's battle cry is fucking hyper fun. And then I, here's I, an, I, a, a small error. Here's yeah. a color error. Uh, forgot to color in the eyelashes. Yeah, so it just looks like she's got long eyes that float I off of her head. blinded by kryptonite. And, and let's be honest, if they did it correctly, it wouldn't be as memorable of a scene. Yeah. That's it's true. Really also, they, don't, they probably don't expect you to pause and look at that. Like, full disclaimer, we are not shitting on the artists who did this movie. Oh, this... We're just, oh, we love the artists who did this. So, oh, we love it. It's great. There, We're there, just appreciating it. There's times where it, we see goofy expressions and stuff, and it wasn't intentional. The art... The goofy and, like, exaggerated expressions in this movie were definitely intentional. Like... I th think... This is what we... We, we kind of, like... But this is the kind of stuff that we would love to do. This yeah. this is like stuff that you hardly ever see cartoonists go this hard, and it's for like an action like based property, which like e you know like in action cartoons, hardly ever do they get uh, do you get expressions this varied and crazy. And you know what? Yeah, I think you it's this a movie big... was actually uh, it actually didn't get very good reviews because of how cartoony they made it. It got mixed to low reviews. People really didn't like this one. And you, you know what? I actually I, I'll give it its credit too for the expressions and the work they put into it, Patty. Yeah, it's an action thing where they're gonna have to do a lot of like movements and fights. So their in between frames are gonna be like the ones they want to save the most time with. They don't skimp on their in between. They don't. When, this this they put some detail and some heart into everything they do which is, i was why i like fucking i've watched this movie since i was like six years old i fucking love this movie also why there's very little combat actually in this movie there is most of this movie is exposition um so yeah oh, gabrielle there's Zena's so girlfriend. this she's, is gabrielle and her persona she's she's a bird now <laughs> See, okay look so look at their size right now compared to each other Zena is on her back. She is riding Gabrielle. She's a mount. She's an eagle mount. She's going Lord of the Rings. She's Gabrielle. Remember this scale for later in the movie. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is Chekhov's eagle, by the way. <laughs> um, this so we, we fly to Mount Olympus, where she can, <laughs> where she can just kick in Ares's throat and make him. <laughs> this was the best day of Ares' life. Yep. It really was. Well, kudos outside to the Parker, actor, though. Like, straight up, kudos to Ares' actor for doing, like, the weird voice that he does when, when Xena's, like, stomping on his throat. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't me. <laughs> well, by Zeus going, how kinky are you two gonna be here? As kinky as you with tiny wife. My tiny wife and I don't need to see this. <laughs> I, I think tiny it, wife anyway, Zeus touches his belly. Small intestine. I, I, think, <laughs> I think it's important to point out, we, we established Cable. Everybody in this movie is on a scale from gay to bisexual, except uh, uh, Hercules himself, who just wants to fuck his mom. Yeah. He's straight yeah. the wrong way. He's, he's, Hercules is the only one who needs to be shamed. <laughs> Her took a wrong <laughs> turn in this movie. Oh no, here we go. This oh no. Fantastic. Oh shoot. Yeah, now the Titans have shown up. The Titans oh, no, have shown up. 
this was tiny wife. He had her in the belly, but then she found her way into the urethra. <laughs> He's like, no. You know what this frame looks like? This looks like a. It was like drawn by Rob uh, Renzetti, who's the uh, the creator of My Life as a Teenage Robot. I would I would believe that maybe he might. I don't know if he worked on it or not. I guess we'd have not. to see, but I, I I like he's been in the animation industry a while. Uh, I don't know that for a fact though. We would have to carefully look at the credits, and I don't want to do that. Prostate Turk shows up. <laughs> Tiny wife you left. Also, I just wanted to point out we have not shown a single picture of the Titans yet. <laughs> we'll get to them. We will oh, get to them. They had it's a also... lot better screenshots later on in the movie. It's mostly because the Titans don't really do a whole lot when they first show up. Did we? Did we take a? Did we take a screenshot of them dry humping each other? No, we didn't because that already passed. But there was a singer about the fuck in front of their two friends. So and just because I'm, I'm actually like I know their names, which is I'm not proud of. <laughs> fucking Sirius and Memnesite were about to fucking bang real hard before the fucking Water it's... Titan cut in. She was like, cool with you two. There's four titans. There's a big old uh, tree titan. There's a, a, a wind titan. There's a water titan. There's a fire titan. And the wind and fire titans. Uh, very wholesome relationship, all things considered. I like also, when her titan shows up and like he's like mad, him and Herc are mad dogging each other. And just looking at him like, you're gonna go fuck up Mount Olympus? Yes? Alright, have at it. Oh, another sporting of you, thank you. I love that all the Titans fucking scream when they first appear, except for the Wind Titan who just goes, oh. Hello. 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 He has like a chance. I wish Chad was here for that. Oh, actually, there's a fun little story about the Earth Titan and Porphyrian. Uh, so you know how when he first sees Herc, he's like, let me pass, little man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, when I was at my old job, and basically whenever I see somebody who's got like man in their last name, <laughs> it's because of the way he says little man. That's why I pronounce man the way I do when I see that. So it's like, um, oh, look at this person. It is good man. <laughs> <laughs> good man. <laughs> it's because of Porphyrian, and I didn't really like, associate that right away, but I, again, I'm almost 27 years old, and I've watched this movie consistently since I was, like, six years old. <laughs> this movie has, like, had 20 years to work its way into my brain. And some things really should have been forgotten. Some things, but we're not there yet. We'll get there. <laughs> this is what we're he's, he's, oh, he's sneaking up on you! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Go back up and just scroll down from Zeus to Hurt to the next Zeus picture. So it's like, oh, my, <laughs> my son, <laughs> oh, father. Oh shit, my son. <laughs> <laughs> okay, context-wise, Hurt actually shows up on Mount Olympus so that way he can go rescue Tiny Wife. Um, and he literally like dodges underneath. Uh, the Wind Titan and then kicks him into a wall. That's where that face comes from. And then, because he let the Earth Titan pass, the Earth Titan's like, I'm gonna return the favor because you were cool to me. And Herc looks everybody in the face as he just takes his mommy and leaves. <laughs> yeah, he just dipskis out of the fight. He didn't even bother to try to help. I, I fucking I fucking love... Do we, do we talk about the uh, the Aphrodite scene? Where Which Aphrodite is like the clam? She's concentrating her chi against the Titans, uh, or, or she's trying to get rid of bad Titan vibes or something like that. I forget what she <laughs> yeah. said. And if that doesn't work, she's just going to hide in her clam. Yeah. And she did. We, I didn't get a screenshot of it because I'm not a pervert, but when Aphrodite even choked, they make a, they make a conscious effort to really push the cleavage up like really high. It's also, you were saying, it's actually kind of a scary thought of like that, that scene where she's getting choked because she's not only being strangled by the water titan, but there's an aura of water around her suffocating. Being drowned, her yeah. She's being drowned. drowned. No, that, that scene fucked with me as a kid. Like, I actively didn't like the water titan because I have, like, a thing. Like, I like there are, like, you know, everybody doesn't want to drown. Like, nobody wants yeah. to actually drown. I, I have, like, a weird complex about drowning. And it it really fucked me. I think it came from this movie, probably, is what did it to me. 
You know, I wish we grabbed screenshots, but I actually do like all the Titans designs. Oh, yeah. Oh, they're oh yeah. It, like it, their first form design. Their first, first design, form. not later no. on. Cable, their second form design, there are two that you Mem know that are good. What? Yeah, Memnified is good. This, this movie is good most of the way through. The ending is kind of like... Are, they they draw on a little too long. <laughs> yeah, like, we'll, we'll get to that. Like, they could have cut Xena's song out and would have had time for a better ending. This oh, hey there, character. sister. Don't make, me, don't make her get oh, long. Yeah. This is table. because he... So the fight's over. They, uh, the, the gods lose. And then it cuts to, like, Herc and his mom back at their place. And then the mom says something like, Do you think I asked to be safe? And then she's, uh, like, mad at Herc for... The entire leaving. fucking time of her carrying her to tell him this. I, I thought it's because he was looking at the shot in between me and Batty, like, what is he doing with her? <laughs> <laughs> He's looking over at Zeus, like, hey, that's my mom over there. <laughs> that's my mommy. If you take her away, who will do bath time with me? <laughs> her gets dirty when he fights monsters. So, of course, yeah, his, his mom is fucking cursing him out because she wanted to stay a tiny wife. She so, it, yeah, it's explained it later on, but I'll just explain it here that apparently Herc's mom is dying, um, and Zeus shows up and offers to take her to Mount Olympus where she can live forever. Um, to make so, up for all his neglect. To make up for all of his neglect, which, personally speaking, I don't think that that equates, but whatever. No, it's, I say, of course, it's the like, least he could do. Also, we know. We also know Zeus is just a, a womanizing a hole. Oh yeah. But it's also like he had to be neglectful because he constantly had Hera on his ass. I suppose. I mean, look what she did as a reaction. I mean, What's that is fun? literally most of Greek mythology. It really <laughs> is. Like Zeus, fucking. Oh, uh, fucking like Zeus. He's he's so like pro tiny wife. He has to hide her away from, like, Hera, because if Hera had found Alcmeni, she probably would have fucking strangled her right in front of Zeus. She would have stepped on her. her. Although, yeah. you would think it's, like... <laughs> it just bothers me, because... What are the odds Zeus had a tiny castle just sitting around the room in Mount Olympus? <laughs> and if that's the one... <laughs> oh, it was actually it was actually Ares' dollhouse. <clears throat> from when so he was a kid. He's got a, no, he's got a Xena doll. Oh, he, okay. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> he's got so a doll do wanna, himself, too. Also, do you guys want to hear something really fucking fun about this? So, you know how every design in here is, like, based off of the actor who plays them? Yeah. Yeah. By the point that this movie came out, Hera had not appeared in her human form in the series yet. So, oh. there was no actor to base Hera off of. Really? Yep, Hera didn't have a human form by the time this movie came out. She came out months later. Interesting. Ooh. They had to find somebody to portray Hera the way they had her in the animated movie. Oh, wow. They did a good job. Um, no, next, what's this next, next one's very good, and it's going to need some context along with it. Okay. <laughs> so, the gods run away from Mount Olympus as the Titans kick their ass and Hera instead of killing them because she doesn't want to be practical is like oh yes run my family like frightened little animals yes frightened little animals and so she changes them all into fucking animals who come down to earth and they don't have their god powers anymore so Zeus is a mouse yes. with weird arms <laughs> She turns Aphrodite into a cow. Oh, she, the, the, the joke on that one is she doesn't even eat meat. <laughs> She's a hippie. And she makes Artemis into a rabbit. And uh, arguably, Artemis is a very adorable rabbit. A very, very smug rabbit, I might add. Very smug. <laughs> oh, and uh, Ares is a goat. Yeah. The, the... Which, they they immediately pull the joke you're expecting. Don't from... make me mad. I think the only reason why uh, they did that was because he had a beard and goats have beards. But, maybe. So there's, there's, I, I like all of these designs. There's one qualm I have with Zeus's. 
For some reason, his he has these. Wrinkles. He has yes, his crotch wrinkles. Every Ew. frame of animation, they make it a a point to to establish that he has wrinkles on his crotch. So there's actually a reason for this, Batty. Can you explain it to me? So, in the original draft of this movie, Zeus was supposed to be a tanuki, but they had to edit it at the last. Second. <laughs> So you do the where his cape was, imagine a large pair of testicles. I know. <laughs> is there like a Ghibli movie where it's like about Tanuki and they all have their balls hanging out? I uh, don't yeah, know. Cool. I'm pretty it's... sure that's a thing. Uh but yeah. When, I don't know. I'm trying to think of a good This is when Xena fucking stares down at them like ready to keel them to death. Yeah, she's ready to murder the fuck out of Artemis. <laughs> she's gonna fucking crush Artemis's head between her thighs. It's like, change Gabrielle back to what she was. I can't do it. I don't got no magic. Oh, you about to you about to get your, see, your head popped see, like a great idea. She was watching these internet videos and she got herself some stiletto heels and she sees this rabbit in front of her. There is one of the probably the best lines out of this scene is what do what do eagles even eat? And then the eagle just goes just like zooms in on its face as it's angry and it goes, Oh, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Which makes me wonder if Gabrielle had eaten her and then they defeated the gods, would Gabrielle have gained the power of a god? I don't know. Um <laughs> Oh, Beard arm Zeus mouse. Like, I don't know what's with his arms. They, they're really long and spindly at the same time. It should be it's so that while you sleep, he can come and gently caress your face and go, shh. Now I am tiny husband. Pretty finger at you. <laughs> it was the full tiny, everything came tiny circle. Everything. There, for once, there was a tiny wife, and now there is tiny husband. T oh, here we go. We finally got some time. Oh, here we go. Let's make our way back up to Mount Olympus. So this is Memnesite. <laughs> Not a flattering picture of her. Not a flattering picture this, you know, What are you talking about? This is a fantastic picture of her. This is a funny <laughs> picture. Now, there's a very specific reason she's making this face. Because as we go back up to Mount Olympus, the Titans are actively engaged in a little bit of something that I would like to call <clears throat> a song. <laughs> For and see, I who? Just them. Hera, Hera wants them to stop. They keep breaking everything while they're singing, and they are singing, Dan, because they're the Titans. They're they are strong. strong. <laughs> they knew that they could beat them all along. So Just thought that he could win, but he was wrong, wrong, wrong. <laughs> they're the Titans <laughs> and they're the song. Boom shock and lock and lock and lock and lock and boom. Boom. Okay. Boom boom. God. Stop it. Daddy, we're not stop, we're not doing this. We stop can't it. move on until you You have to do boom shock and lock and lock once or we can't move on. <sighs> okay, fine. Boom, With feeling. Shock lock a lock a boom. I'm not I don't feel convinced. Feel yeah. Convinced. Boom, shaka, laka, laka, boom. I'll okay, that. I'll take it. Sure. Moving <laughs> on now. There's a lot of trophy in there. So, so there's this whole song uh, yeah. that actually, contrary to like most like musicals, um, actually like is being done in, in like live, as in like it's not just a song and then this the the story continues. This is them actually singing, and Hera just fucking wants them to stop. It, it, it's like, it's it's very bad, and you can tell this is like them pushing for the runtime of the movie, but there are a lot of very good faces in it. Uh, like, There's yeah. a lot of good faces, but they reused a lot of footage too, like those two beating each other with vases. Also, here's a weird scene. I don't know why this is here, but for some reason during that, that musical, they for some reason wanted to show that she had leg hair. So the fiery titan is a um, Memnesite, and the one whose head is the the gray gargoyle one, that's a, that's Cirrus, and him and Memnesite basically fuck. Yeah. They and they're probably the most adorable couple in this entire they movie. They bone the first scene dumb. that they're in, and then after that, they're just wholesome and like pulling pranks on the other two titans. 
Um, yeah, like you're talking about them getting revenge, she makes a skull face and it gets him horned up. Yeah. And the water titan is um Texas and she's just mad that, you know, it's like, why doesn't she have somebody to fuck? Because Porphyrian only wants to fuck the Chronostone. Yeah. <laughs> now here here's the thing I don't get about the leg hair. It's not uh, that I I you know I'm have a problem with the leg hair being there. I'm just wondering why is it only in that one frame? I maybe, don't. Know. Maybe she burns it off. It, it just hmm. keeps on growing, and she just systematically has to burn it off every five seconds. That's a mm. great expression right there. I fucking oh. These are all great expressions. Those are very spunko looking expressions. Very they Ren are. and Stimpy. <laughs> look, look at these two assholes. Oh, <laughs> he, burps. he burps and then they all start laughing. Most wholesome couple. Like, and you see, he's always he's always embracing them. To like he never like isn't. Uh, but yeah, if you, if you want to know what the times are like, this is probably the best screenshot. That really is one of the best screenshots you could get. These are the main villains of this movie. Like them Ooh. along with Hera and also Perfurian's crinkly ape finger. <laughs> Where <laughs> the water titan's like, how much longer must we deal with this? And he goes, not long. <laughs> and Xena's like, hmm, I guess and it's not long. A high degree. <laughs> this, this is Xena's song. Oh. You know it's first. weird. No, this is after Xena's song. Xena sings yeah. a completely heterosexual song. A Definitely. completely heterosexual song about her uh, lover, I mean, friend who's been turned into a giant eagle, and how so, their friendship and bond with each other. I think what it actually is, is her talking about, like, she failed to save someone, so can she call herself an, a hero? Yeah, but, but, like, she was singing about how much she likes her. Is the it thing. feels more like it's not about her failing to save people, Chibi. It's like she's more broken that she didn't save her. Yeah, like it is. Go on. That's a very Gabrielle focused song, and let's just let's just be straight up, all right? You know, let's just stop tiptoeing around the fucking bush. It's look gay as that, hell. Look at that face. Yeah. Who made that face for a friend like that? <laughs> And, and, and meanwhile, watching from the, uh, the 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 side, we have this also fantastic face <laughs> song. Oh, I would sing that about Eolus if he got turned into an eagle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Herc just kind of shows up like towards the beginning of the song, and he's just watching. Yeah, yeah, he just leans on a, he leans on a fence and makes Nick Cage faces at her. He, he's like, D -d -d I, you know what? This is pretty pleasant. Pretty, pretty pleasant song, if I must say. Do you mind if I nyaw cat at you? Oh, so you're talking to me now? <laughs> you, you guys made me like go back and try to get that nyaw cat. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> 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 Look at this Ronald McDonald ass motherfucker. <laughs> Looks like you have a nose finally. She looks like a Mickey Mouse villain. Because <laughs> She, oh my god, she looks like fucking, like, oh, what's it, like, Grendel Witch or something from the, from the fucking Mickey Mouse game. She looks like that, like, actually, no, she looks like a fucking snake. Her hairline makes it look like she's a cobra. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help that her, that her skull is, she's got more of a widow's peak than Vegeta. <laughs> oh, that makes sense That's if she, she, she turns Zeus into a mouse. Tiny husband, tiny husband. <laughs> uh, and then Hera decides to then... supercharge the Titans, arguably making them weaker and giving them a new uh, cool design. Which we don't have pictures for because she changes Memnicide up and Memnicide goes from being pretty fucking like adorable and wholesome to a fucking turbo babe. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to see. Oh, you know what? Hold the phone. And it is true that of, of the, all the Titans, Memnesite gets the best new design. Her design, oh, yeah. her, her her new design is actually pretty cool. I won't lie. I posted it in file text. Oh, sweet. So, so it doesn't show them all. It cuts off Porphyrian, but nobody cares. Um, it also cuts off Memnesite's like super cool, like weird leg and tail. She gets a devil tail and like raptor feet. Yeah, but Memnesite gets really fucking cool. 
uh, Siri, Cirrus gets arguably worse. Yeah, she it just, just gets, gets stretchy. Why does he get wings? He can already fly. Mm. He never flies. Oh, who, who's the water bitch? Uh, I think it's like Tetris. Yeah, uh, she she Tetris. just gets stretchy. She just gets yeah, tentacle. She, she, she turns tentacles. into a Hatterene. I'm just gonna keep calling it that. Um, and then the wind guy is like gargoyle. Yeah, he can already fly. The, my favorite thing about the Titans, this is my favorite thing. They're all stupid. Yeah. Every one of them is just actively stupid, and the song proves it. Yeah. They're I, just I very love dumb. that about them, because they're just big and dumb. It's like Harris the brains, and then they're the, the muscle. So, yeah, so Sirius can actually fly, but he forgets because he's dumb. Yeah. And then I would it's say like arguably the smartest powerful. one there. Yeah. The smartest one there is probably the water one, but she doesn't do anything. <laughs> she she uh, stops uh, the fire and wind one from fucking. And she sp she speaks complete actual sentences. Well, when we say they were fucking, they were crotch to crotch. Okay, this isn't like a like like I know that's probably not what the animators intended it to look like, but oh, it sure was. No, actually, Betty, it was, and there's a very clear thing that I wish we got a screenshot for. Yep. Uh, Memnasite was 100% like holding onto his ass. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I love, I love that face of Memnasite. That's just a good face. It is a After, She melted face. a sword. <laughs> like, it's, it's intimidating, and it's also like really fucking adorable, too. And you yes. got Yola you know, sitting there like, a oh, hot paperito! I can't compete! <laughs> I. I she melts his sword, and only after it's melted does he actually react and go, "Ah, hot!" Memnus, I just Memnus, Eolus looks like a kind of like a buff David Spade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh god, but Eolus, Eolus, I will say though he wasn't like super useful, he still tried, and you got to give him his credit where credit is due. Oh he yeah. He never once backed down from a fight. Yeah, he even when like Hercules did because he hated the gods, uh, he he like stuck around. Um, he he is textbook bro. definition of bro. He if 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 um if Aphrodite had decided to like you know give him give him a freebie at the end of the movie, I would have said he earned it because he actually did try and he put in the work. He was a cool bro through the entire thing. Bro. <laughs> It wouldn't have felt shoehorned in. But even if uh, she, like, denied him, you know he would be just cool about it. Yeah, he's like, oh, well. Looks like it's time to go back to playing horse and plow. <laughs> oh, Herc! <laughs> I've got the straps. <laughs> Speaking of leather straps. You are tickling my chins, little man. He's, he's got him right there. He, he's, he looks very angry because this was the scene where Hercules like held on to his chin. He's like, you can't stay there. I can't smooch you. <laughs> but he's actively kind of like, oh, you got to hold on to me. Then I'm going to do this to you. So there's a, there's a couple things that have happened in between these screenshots. Um, one, the fact that Hera no longer has the Chrono Stone. Yeah. Um, and two, uh, Herc, has he already broken the Chrono Stone in, at this point? Or I don't remember. Not yet. He gets the idea after he rips oh, himself off his like chin. It's actually a fucking device. Yeah. It oh. opens. Yeah, so Herc rips the Chrono Stone in half to open up the pits to Tartarus so they can kick the Titans back down in there. The first one they kick in there is the Wind Titan who can fly, but okay. Yeah, he's, sure. He's an idiot. <laughs> Then Eolus pulls the whole fucking loop out of the way of the two t people tackling you, which I actually will still argue. I found it interesting that like um the water and fire titans couldn't touch each other; they caused themselves to, like evaporate. Well, and, see, like, that was out. like the big like thing about like when they fought them because they fought them a couple times, and it's like we can't touch the fire titan because she'll catch us on fire, and we can't like hurt the water titan because she's made of water. How do you can't you just cancel each other them out? And that that was actually you know yeah. Like, and simple but clever solution. And a little fact, too, because you can't touch the Water Titan because she's intangible. Yeah. If you look at the scene when they get kicked into Tartarus, he kicks he kicks the Fire Titan. He doesn't kick the Water Titan to knock them in. Yeah. So he, so they paid a little bit of an attention to detail with that instead of just making it a random thing. And I do like that. Yeah. Um, and nice touch. 
Hercules. Oh no, he's trying to smooch me! <laughs> Fucking Hercules has the pits to Tartarus open. They're trying to take Porphyrian down there, like kick him in. But he gets stronger every time he's on the ground, so Hercules is struggling to... Like, they... they... Gabrielle lifts him and drops him into the pit, but he has an extendo penis and wraps around Gabrielle's foot. Uh, do so this a, fate... Yeah, we I, want to point out, I wanted to point out, Cable, it's that's another nice touch that they did with the idea that whenever he hit, touches the ground, it's it's actually the thing also like with the the Earth Gods and even uh, Antaeus, uh, like the son of the Earth God. It's yeah, whenever they hit the ground, they marshal their forces. Yeah, like. They, there was a lot of like little attention to detail with these titans that while they're they're annoying because of their song, but they're really fucking fun because of their song and their personalities. Like each one of the titans is charming in their own way. Oh yeah, they are definitely. Even, and... even Porphyrian. One thing I will say I really do love about it, like or love about him rather, it's he has like the whole mega, you know, maniacally evil villain sort of thing, right? Mm -hmm. he still has that little bit of like personality and like humanity towards him where it's like when Hercules is leaving with his mom he doesn't even like growl or like Hercules doesn't have to bark and he just looks at him and goes you allowed me to pass in peace I return the favor to you take your mother and go he's, he's reasonable he's reasonable like honest to god like if the titans were ruling the earth like Herc could have just asked him like Dude, you think you could just kind of like be chill, dog, and like we could like not like destroy the earth, but you could rule it? Oh yeah, I just wanted the title. <laughs> he really, they just wanted to get rid of Zeus. That was all they, 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 they wanted, wanted to get rid of Zeus. And once he was gone, all they did was just wreck shit in the palace. That's that's. You the... know what they said though? They said, and I and I quote: "We're the Titans. We're per we're the worst. We're far more perverse." They just wanted to like destroy Zeus's house and have an orgy, and that's it. <laughs> have an orgy and sing. Yeah, I think once they finished fucking, they probably would have calmed down a lot. And really, if you think about it, if all they're doing is breaking shit up there and fucking, they're arguably doing better for the mortals because they're not interfering with them. They probably would have yeah. been out there for I mean, a good like, a good century or so, and they probably would have been like, "What were we doing again?" Ah. Like, wh how different would this movie have been if, like, Porphyrian took the Corona Stone and then when they flew up, he's like, yeah, it's kind of fucked up what the gods did. Here, hold on. And then he changes Gabrielle back. Well, <laughs> like, the thing also with that is, like, you could argue, well, Hera's still an evil bitch. They fucking yeah. betrayed Hera. Yeah. Hera, Hera, wait. Hera was an idiot for amping up the already powerful and basically immortal titans. What happened? I mean, seriously, they're titans. They already won. Zeus's lightning, which was the strongest thing in their arsenal, could not hurt them. Therefore, there was nothing they could do. Um. Legends say that if the gods have a champ of a mortal champion, they can beat back the titans. Now, why immortal? But whatever. Can, can we go to back to talking about the Earth Titan's penis? Yeah. He shot it out of his crotch when they tried to drop him. It, literally out of his crotch. Yeah. It wrapped around, um, it wrapped around the eagle's foot. And then Hercules broke it, which is where we get this screenshot from. He, he, he ripped his penis. He actually grew the chest hairs when he's pulling. Yeah, he grew, he grew some chest hairs. Hercules gave the most powerful hand job and just ripped it straight off. <laughs> and then sent the dude falling into Tartarus. And then they fucking... Oh my god, wait. Leave that right there. It looks like Zeus was looking at Chibi. Look, oh. <laughs> That's weird. I don't like that. I'm proud of you, Chibi. Me and oh. Bottle are going to fuck in front of you. How about that? It's fucking weird. Hello, my son. Do, do you want to meet Tiny Wife? Oh, wait. Never mind. She's stuck in my urethra. <laughs> no. I haven't peed in weeks. No. We have made so many sounding jokes with this movie alone. Listen, what, you, what else are you going to do with Tiny Wife? Speaking of Tiny Wife, now scroll up. Oh, somebody's getting divorce papers. <laughs> so that's really the ending is like, oh yeah, so the Titans get defeated and then they take Hera and put her into Tiny House so she becomes another Tiny Wife. And then all she does is say it was fun while it lasted. 
The fucked up part about this is, while this was like some grand apocalyptic event for mortals, this is just probably like a casual Tuesday for Zeus. He probably gets turned into a mouse by Hera every other <laughs> Thursday when he to take the trash out. <laughs> Scroll down a little bit to this Zeus face again. Yeah. That's him realizing, oh shit, now Hera's my new tiny wife. And that's really the movie. And then it ends with Alcmeni going up to Zeus land with Zeus. Hercules says, I'll come visit and learn to bathe myself, mama. And then just lets her go. He actually just she's has like, like a really cute moment with his mother where he's like like genuinely sad that he has to see her go, but uh like he, he like realizes it's the only way to protect her. Fine, I won't ruin it. It is a genuine sweet moment. Oh and then and then Herc and Xena like like Herc goes to Xena and is just like, So I got nothing to do now? Uh you traveling? Cool, we'll go with you for for a bit. It's that sounds cool. Sounds cool. She's like, I'm glad to have you back now, Gabrielle. <laughs> Square! It's an old deleted scene where Gabrielle just like drops a large human shit on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> imagine, Gabrielle. imagine Gabrielle like she at the end of the movie she got turned back into a human, right? Like along with yes, all the gods. Yeah. Imagine if she just kept right. the eagle voice. <laughs> Square! <laughs> I argue that if you wanted to like make it up to her, you should have left her with the ability to freely transform between that. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. She said she got used to it. She's kind of was enjoying the flying thing. Yeah. Betty, you know there's a deleted scene to this movie where it actually turns out they go behind like Alf Benny's bar, and Gabrielle did lay an egg while she was an eagle, and it hatches into like a Gabrielle eagle hybrid and just goes kill me, kill me. <laughs> So yeah, that's the movie. Yeah. It's so much fun. Like, Hercules and Zena Battle, Battle, Battle from Adam Rose. I, 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 I legitimately enjoyed this film. I'm very happy you found some enjoyment in this movie. Again, this was a little gem from childhood that I wasn't even aware nobody else had seen. I honest to God thought this movie was like very commonplace and a lot of people knew about it. Uh, I didn't even realize it existed. It's such a weird like thing too. Like... I know, like, probably a lot of kids watch the Xena and Hercules show, like, more so than adults. But, like, I don't, like, I don't even know what went on to make them decide to do an animated adaptation of the show. Like, I'm glad that they did. And I kind of wish this was its own series, like, its own animated series. But, like, oh, that would have cool. been really cool. But, like, I, I don't like understand what was like the rationale behind doing so i guess is is the weird thing so what i think it was is with the hercules and xena show being like around their height of popularity yeah and also seeing disney's hercules having gotten released yeah. i think they wanted to make this so that way this would yeah, say the lot. definitive hercules even in animated forms so that way disney wouldn't usurp what hercules already was not bad that's, that's a pretty bold move yeah. Because then, if kids see the Disney's Hercules and then they see the Hercules, the journey, the what's it called? Hercules, the what journey? Hercules, the legendary journeys. The legendary journeys. If they were to see that, they'd be like, "Oh, but what? Where's Where's Phil? Why isn't this Hercules like the Hercules from our movie?" Where it's like, if they were to make an animated movie that appealed to kids, then this Hercules would be the one they'd want to see, and they'd go back and watch Hercules. Yeah. Like. Which, this made me like Hercules. Yeah. Well, it's, like, also, like, this is obviously, like, you know, there is a lot of similarities between the two. And Disney's Hercules does have a higher production value. I still gonna say that I, I like this more outside of, like, the Boom Shakalaka song. I had, <laughs> pro I had a very fun time watching this film, and it is solely because of the... Not solely, mostly because of the art direction. At least when they do songs, the songs are short, and they only, they truly, like, yeah. like, this song oh, is yeah. like, a real song, it's like a short, like, little thing. They only subject you to two songs through the whole movie. And, like, the, the <laughs> Zeta oh, song yeah, wasn't like, even that, like, that, like, it was a slow song, but it didn't really, it didn't really last, like, it didn't overstay its welcome, and it was... Yeah. I think my favorite part about Xena's song anyway is that, like, you get the great, like, expressions throughout that one. Oh, yeah. 
It's like even the Boom Shakalaka song, even though that like, like fucking makes my ears bleed. There are really good time faces during it. So what are the Titans, the really strong. This is like good faces the movie. The Twitter, there's like a Twitter thing, a Twitter account called Good Faces, and they just post faces from like animated properties that are just like solid, nice faces. Um, they would probably have a field day with this movie. Oh yeah, it'd just be doing like we did and just pause it every few minutes. Listen, this yeah. movie's a very underrated gem, I would say. It's unfortunately it's not even a cult classic. This is just one of those things where like you only know about it if you know it or you know somebody who knows it. Yeah. And I, I I'm happy to personally be like bringing this back up to the spotlight even just a little bit for people to see. Like if one person goes out and watches Hercules and Xena Battle for Mount Olympus after this, then something was done right very well said like like we made fun of the faces but there really wasn't really like anything to actively talk shit about this movie with no no it was a pretty we, serviceable movie well, really. we, we made fun of the faces but like they were like purposely drawn that way like this this movie knew it was goofy as sin in a, none, of those, oh. none of these expressions are accidental no. As a whole, I'll give the movie like a six out of ten because it's it's pretty by the numbers. There's nothing special that it does, but the 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 faces and how the characters act and move, I can give it a good fucking like seven or an eight out of ten. Like Zeus's voice is probably the only thing I would actually change from this. Other than that, I was fine with everything else. I I would recommend this movie to like uh, cartoonists. Like, like I, you know, yeah. You know what's something I think, and I think I don't know how you feel about them, Batty. What? But I think the satyrs from the very beginning of the movie are very well drawn. Yeah, I, I like the satyr designs. They also like align more with satyrs in uh, like Greek mythology because they're very like creepy and like scungy and like I, I you know, like so right up Daddy's alley. <laughs> no, like in the, 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 the dirty her. sex pervert way. <laughs> so like. It, the way that they drew them all creepy like and how they're trying to like hit on Xena before she kicked their asses actually was kind of like reminded me a lot of like Greek mythology myths with satyrs um but also they they had like cool like villain designs but like there's like a lot of really good designs in this film uh from like the the gods uh, animals to like the the gods themselves the main characters. Uh, even the weird monsters. Uh, Xena kicked ass. She was like beating people up uh, left and right. Xena was like, fucking cool. Xena was a fucking beast. All with her catchphrase. <laughs> I'm not even going to fucking like try and do it because it's late here. Yeah. And get away with it, but. Yeah. Yo, go check this movie out. It's fucking great. Yeah. Okay. It's a, it's a good. It's only like an hour, so it's a good time. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's one of those things where it's like, if you know you're not doing something on a Sunday afternoon and you just want something to listen to, watch Hercules and Xena. Yeah. It's a movie. Mm -hmm. well, I guess, just to round us out. To sound us out? What? Boom, shock, a lock, a lock, a boom, shock, a lock, a lock, a boom, boom.